eliminate the negative. Eliminate the negative. Eliminate the negative. A prominent American psychologist has written the following axiom. Work expands in direct relation to the time available for its completion. We're all familiar with the innate truth of this statement. Do you ever eat a leisurely breakfast, read everything in the morning paper, or have an extra cup of coffee? Of course you do. But you also know that when it's absolutely necessary, you can consume the first meal of the day in a fraction of the leisurely time. Conversely, if you get up earlier than usual, it takes longer to eat breakfast. If you allow yourself several hours to write five important letters, it will take that amount of time to write them. incredible day. Today I walked around Portland along a bike graffiti path that I'll put the link in down in the description below. Basically you bike along and you get to look at uh, a series of, of graffitis. It's, I don't see any like like organization of it. It's just there's buildings and restaurants and walls and and tons of other surfaces that are just covered in graffiti. And on my way into the city I was bombarded by murals and and, and tags, it's been a trip compared to Salem, which has one of the most comprehensive cleanup systems I have seen for a city. When Googling their, uh, Googling graffiti in their towns, they are all about helping you get rid of it. So while I was going through Portland, I was looking for a quiet place to film this, and I was thinking about parking in front of a, any of the murals that I found so far, but I, instead found a wall through a fence which 
turned out to be inside of a cemetery, so I, curiosity behooves me. I came in here to see if people were, what the inclination was of people in the, in the area to tag up something like gravestones or something, which I would consider pretty, pretty terrible. But I was lucky enough to not only see nothing on any of the gravestones that I that I came across, but I also found a park ranger who was kind enough to explain to me the system that they have. So they do have a system here as well. The, the park rangers actually keep an eye on and, they, and they're trained about what the tags mean in the city for, for crime reasons and for, for other, you know, human, human observations. But they also have some, some, just basically he said that they use what little extra resources they have to clean up graffiti when it comes. And the walls particularly that they have here that were tagged up that I saw, he said that they're not for tagging. They're not explicitly for it. They used to be old school trolley stations that are just little walls left behind now. And he said that overnight, if they clean them up, they'll be, they'll be tagged again, particularly to whoever does the red octopus or squid or or what have you. He said that the rangers ha have, have seen them all over town, so you've got a little bit of a notoriety going on with these guys. So ultimately, the Portland trip has been pretty fun, and I'm looking to meet an artist friend here in a minute, which I need to get to right now.